This video explains the downloop transition in detail. Ride as normal, kite around 45, switch to toe side stance, then edge your heels to ride completely downwind. Pull as hard as possible with your front hand, in this case the left hand, to start the down loop. Keep pulling until the kite changes direction and begins to climb. Once the kite is climbing, push the bar away to reduce power. Probably the most crucial part of all of this is that you start riding downwind before the kite loop kicks in. During the down loop, the kite will pass through the high power zone downwind of you. You will be forced to travel downwind and there's not much you can do about it. But if you have already turned your board directly downwind, then you shouldn't feel too much of a jolt as this happens. Note, it is much safer to start learning this trick in light wind, on a day where you hardly have enough power to ride. The other important part of this trick is that you complete your loop and do it quickly. If you pull weakly for a slow loop, the kite will stay in the high power zone for longer. If you abandon your loop early, the kite will likely shoot down through the high power zone, which is an excellent way to wreck your kite. You want the loop to be quick, so the kite touches the high power, but then climbs away. If you're not confident with loops, you can practice this movement on light wind days as a water start or whilst body dragging. Good luck learning the down loop transition.